Greetings once again, fellow girls, guys, and gaming fans. This is Small Archangel. Welcome to another episode of Seven Days to Die. Alpha 16. I finally got round to upgrading my ceiling. There we go. I've mined it all out overnight, and I'm just crafting some uh, flagstone blocks because there's no sense. Some of it fell down, obviously, because it was. Ah! Oh, I hate that. Uh, because it was gravel, so. Uh, that wasn't ever so helpful, but flagstone blocks, because I've got some cobblestone left over, so I thought I may as well just use that up, as opposed to using some of our precious, precious concrete, which, uh, yeah, is always quite difficult to make enough of that at the moment. We just there aren't enough hours in a day to make enough concrete, frankly. There we go. Oh, look, I missed a bit. Typically, we've still got a screamer up there to take care of, but I actually... Would rather, I think, go up and uh, just cut her head off with a machete and deal with any zombies that I find, any any other zombies that I find with uh, with the mis said machete as well, because that's just going to be more fun and good for our knife wielding skill as well. All right, are we stopped making these yet? No, we're still making a few, but that's okay. Whatever. All right, I'm going to put the iron. May as well put it straight in the forge. Actually, there we go. I've got clay there. I'm going to put that away. I'm still making crossbow bolts as well. How many more of these am I making? 17 only. Okay, well, we'll put those there for the time being. There we go. And then we've got plenty of those. But I don't really want to be carrying an excess of stuff with us when we go. I've got loads of jars, haven't I? Oh, I've only got 10, actually. But that's okay. I think off camera I also grabbed a load of water. So I'm just going to do... That, there we go, that makes sense, doesn't it? We're going to eat before we go to make sure that we're sort of filled up there. We got, we think we've finished making these bolts now, so I'm just going to place those there. Look at that, we've got so many crossbow bolts now. That's great, but just a full stack of them should do us for today. And I think we're all set. This is crafting an absolute ton, so that is going to take ages to do. And I'm going to head in this direction. No, I'm going to put, I'm just going to put these back in there for them. No, I'm going to put, I'm going to go over this way. Because we want to put those bullets away. We've obviously got to take the bike with us. We're going to take the bike with us. So there we go. Look at that. Nice. Oh, look, you see, that's a gift. I can't not, can I really? Yes. Sayonara. So uh, that's the end of her. And so we're not going to waste any of our time. Oh, no, there's another one. What did I just say? That was foolish of me, wasn't it? Okay, machete time. There we go. She's down, but she's already called in another horde. So we should have a load of them to deal with. Here we go. We're going to get our knife practice after all. Oh, there's a hazmat zombie. I like hazmat zombies. They have good loot. Oh my gosh, and another screamer, and she's seen me too. Okay. Yeah, you're, you're dead too, but not before you've called in some more. So this could take a while, folks. Oh, duct tape. I'm not really wanting to know why on earth duct tape would be carried by a nurse, but there you go. Is that it? Is that it? Yeah, it looks like it. Wowza. Okay, so we might have had two or three screamers, but... Unless a load more of two, and a, a random horde will probably show up. So before they do, we should probably get shot of these corpses. Drop off the random stuff I just picked up. And uh, then uh, they'd be on our way. We've got a drop to pick up. And we're going to go and do some exploring. Obviously, I've got some work to do on the base still. But it's not... It's not that important that we do that work before our next horde arrives. Um, I will try, off camera I think, to upgrade all of this and also to reinforce concrete this bit here because I'm constantly shooting it, unfortunately. Reinforced concrete isn't the best looking uh, thing from a point of view of being able to see when something needs a light over there. It's a very bright light over there. It keeps distracting me. Um, so yeah, reinforced concrete. It's difficult to see. Well, it's not as difficult as flagstone, but it's not easy to see uh, when it's been damaged. So it's not ideal from that point of view. I'm going to leave that shovel behind because I'm not actually planning on using it. There we go. And we'll go. Get up the ladder. 
and get on the bike and we're going to pick up the supply drop and uh, while it's still marked on my map and I still know where it is and then we are going to head now let's see should we go let's go east let's go through the burned biome and see if there's a town in that direction because I vaguely remember when we first got here we knew we were plating ourselves between two towns we can see them both from here but uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure we also knew that there were now I've got a thousand gas there and I've got my claw hammer so we should actually be able to get ourselves some more uh, petrol as we go so let's pick up this drop first let's not drive into my wood spikes oh yeah that's much faster isn't it we upgraded the I've got a purple bike engine in here now much quicker in fact to the point where I might be driving into holes if I'm not very careful this is why I'm a little bit cautious about digging holes in the landscape because I then drive my bike into them and get myself stuck Wooza. that is quick now all right give me the contents of the crate Ooh, lovely I can't read that hmm okay well bit of sniper rifle there I think kind of perfect really oh nuts a wolf no no oh blimey I'm bleeding out this is not good this is a really rubbish way to start right you oh die just die oh my goodness that really robbed me of a load of health didn't it pick good job to have picked up these really let's shiv him because uh, we may as well have his meat and his hide and all the rest of it while we're about it where did he come from right and where more the point is the blooming bike there thank goodness for the marker now okay so we may as well put these things in here oh for goodness sake can i have a second you are dead there we go we don't really need that okay so i put all sorts of stuff on there oh and i did actually mean to look at the map can i just check to make sure i'm not gonna get about to get ganked by anything else let's get rid of that so we're gonna head into this town and we're gonna just follow the main road through i think that's probably the best thing to do um we have yet to go into some of these skyscrapers and i still would very much like to do that however uh, in order to do the justice i feel like what i really need is a pair of night vision goggles yes east this is the way we want to go so uh yeah that is what that is what i want to find and I, as yet not found any so uh and i feel like i really haven't done ever so much in the way of looting yet um in this series and that is probably because we haven't we haven't done that much in the way of looting i have a feeling we've missed our road here we're gonna have to go this away i think in order to find the road that leads through these zombies getting up in my vague vicinity ah yes i think this is our road here i will just check but i will just get out of the way of those zeds first here we go oh my there's another drop over there look Hmm, be rude not to, wouldn't it? Be foolish not to, now we can see where it is. There's got to be a fair few drops around here, in point of fact, that we haven't seen before. Hello, zombie. Um, and if we're whizzing around on the bike, we're bound to find some of them as well. Uh, and one of my subs said that actually the burned forest biome is a good place to... F oh, look, there's a potato patch here that I didn't even know about. Crossbow schematic. I've actually got one of those already. That's amazing. I didn't realise I'd got that. Well, we've already got potatoes growing now, but if I'd known about that before, that would have been very useful. I didn't know there was prefabs with little potato patches outside. That's kind of cute. I've lost the road now. It's all the way over here. There we go. So... Uh, we should be able to get from A to B a lot quicker on our bike now we've upgraded it, which is great. And I've lost the plot completely of what I was saying before. Can't have been that important then. Oh yes, that's right, the burn biome. And uh, I'm going to be looking out for nodes, all nodes, because yes, I know we can find a fertilizer in the burn forest, which is good. But a couple of my subs have also said that we actually get, oh gosh, for goodness sakes, woman... All right, change your flipping coat over. And I'm going to put these in there as well. Oh, SMG and stuff as well. That's great. All right, so I'm going to put that. You know what? Why? When I've learned these already, 
we should just get shot shouldn't we really there we go and we'll put those in there also and the antibiotics that's useful in case uh, in case i get myself uh, attacked by anything but yes uh, nodes uh, in the bi biome can be um potassium nitrate apparently so worthwhile looking out for some there is one for example but i believe it's coal difficult to see with this visibility to be honest that's coal that is not potassium nitrate that one so i think we get slightly variable nodes anyway but apparently you can find potassium nitrate ones in the burn forest well in fact there's one in fact there's one yes we will definitely have that because there's in fact there's some more over there I've, i can see excellent 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 well this is great to know so uh i can't remember who it was as i say it's at least one person has said that so uh Thank you guys, this is uh, very useful. I knew you could find potassium nitrate nodes above ground, but I wasn't absolutely certain what biomes. And uh, we did find some in the desert, but not ever so many. There are some more around here as well, but I should probably get, just to justify the space in my inventory, I should probably just, I should probably get another one while we're here as well. Oi, <laughs> so much fame. We might as well get over here. Way there he goes. Okay, let's just check and see if he's got anything good on him. No, he hasn't. Oh, it bugs me the way those things crackle. Oh, now this is shale oil. Look at this. This is shale oil. So you can actually get really quite random and varied nodes, can't you? This one I didn't even recognise because I'm not used to seeing that above ground. Okay, well, I'm collecting shale oil. Gasoline for running generators as much as the bike, not just the bike. So uh, we're thinking of going electric now. Once we've got our, uh, once we've got our um, maintenance area up and running. Oh yes, there we go. There's another one. Birds nest. Do you know what? We've got enough feathers. It's not often I say that, but we do, in point of fact, have enough feathers. I will get some more of this though because we never have enough gunpowder. Not at this juncture, anyway. Uh, I am going to reserve my sniper rifle for screamers and cops. That is more or less what it's going to be for. But uh, I do want to be able to use it so that I can up my gun skill uh, without using any of my my precious perk points. Okay, let's get about our way now. So, there's another burned zombie here. I'll just take his head off if I possibly can. We need some more... Skill points spent in the decapitator, I think. I just hit him in the knees. There we go. So much for you. Let's just check. Brown shirt. Nah, you're alright. I don't need that. And um, there's another one over there as well, but... Heck, I could spend all day decapitating zombies in the bird biome. Let's get about our business. Let's see if there's another town in this direction. Let's see, there's more. Shale oil and potassium nitrate on the surface. This is awesome. And it's a really, really flat biome as well. Oh, town! Wow. Now, this one is one I definitely didn't see and didn't know about. Because you cannot see from that this far away. But this is definitely... Oh, it's a big one by the look of it. It's a decent sized one also. So that is fantastic. Let's see what we have here. Skyscrapers 2, definitely. Got a building yard, a builder's yard as well. We've got various... Let's go left. I'm not left-handed, but I'm going left anyway. I find, generally speaking, they do say that you, you'll go in the direction of your dominant hand. I don't. Um, I go left. I tend to go left. I don't know why. This is obviously the uh, rougher end of town and the residential zone at that. Uh, so let's just swing through here because what we are really interested in is are there any shops in town if there are they'll be around here there's a hurry harry's diner there's obviously a kindergarten over there i can see it i can't remember what it's called poopy pants or something isn't it <laughs> there's the higachi pharmaceutical building there's some sort of is that a fire station it is a fire station and let's go in this door oh, there's a pig there Kind of wanting to crossbow it and yay! Get myself some pork. There we are. And I think I've got the rest of it on the bike, haven't I? So let's just shove. I, this is kind of it's just a habit, really. It's not necessary to do that. There's a businessman there. I can't be bothered. I want to know what's in town. Oh, there's something that looks very much like a store over there. Although these days, of course, it could be a laundrette or 
um, some such rather than anything more useful the booby trap it's not a store so much as a bar really but looks like we've got an army base over the end there i can pretty much recognize those from a far distance now oh and a courthouse so helix and i found one of those in our multiplayer in our co-op come on get off there and a factory over in that direction Okay, and then this is the Desrez area by the look of it. Oh my goodness, there's a, build, a building on the hill which might be a trader, possibly. Yeah, that is probably a trader over there, isn't it? Oh my, is this a... This might be good, actually. I'm just going to cut across the grass here because in lieu of there being any of the large stores that we're more used to, we've got a kind of a trader station type set up there. And then... I thought, let me just go around here, so that might be worth, oh, a pass and gas, yep, we're definitely going to drop in there, at this juncture, just for the fuel, and the oil barrels, oh, whatever, machete practice, there you go, oh, there's another pass and gas over there, super, right, well, in that case, I'm going to have the... Any fuel that there is here, and oil barrels also. Yes, I'm almost machete you as well. I am relatively fearless. Now I've got my machete. Here we go. Look at this. Is that? Oh, it's a usable one as well. Well, it's a shame I can't just pick it up and take it back to my base, isn't it, really? There we go. Okay, so we're going to have a look at it here in case it's working stiff's box. Hmm, nice. Rebar. Yep, we can use that, definitely. Okay, so... Lots and lots of uh, lootables around here. Basically, there's a passing gas behind us as well. We're going to go to that too. We're going to pick up all the um, p petrol, the fuel that we can. Um, but there was what looked like a row of shops, and I would look, like to go and check those out as well. Um, there we go. I always like to pick up the oil barrels as soon as possible because they're explosive. Uh, there are some inside as well, and I will just leave those for the time being. But they are explosive, and... It makes a good, it's a good idea to pick them up before, ooh, lovely, I didn't check the last one. To pick them up before a zombie has the opportunity to blow them up for you. So, uh, oh, you need to do that, do I? Here we go. Grab that. There we go. Have you got any good stuff? you got some water, which I'll never say no to. Here we go. Pick up the gas barrel. Get that. There's another barrel. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Right, let's go. Okay, so. I have no idea where they were now. I have lost the plot somewhat, direction-wise. I think they're over in that direction there. But there were. I can't see a thing. Uh, let's just put those while it's relatively quiet around here. Let's fuel the bike up completely. There we go. And let's put those in there. There we are. And have we got anything that won't stack? I think we've got, we haven't got we have got anything that's not going to stack there, so that's good. Gosh, it's grim around here, isn't it? It's like being in the UK or something. So yeah, I thought I saw a row of shops. Yes, I did. There they are in front of my face. Fantastic. So in lieu of finding any actual shops, these are really good. Are we being pursued? Probably. Let's just take care of her before she... There we go. These guys can have some good loot sometimes. Not this time. And there is somebody following me all the way over here. There's a laundrette. They're really good for mechanical parts as such, of course. So, here we go. Okay, so, we're going to stick as much stuff in the bike as we possibly can. I think it's more or less already full, isn't it? But we will just put in there some <clears throat> of the stuff that we are really unlikely to find in there. There we go. And then... We're going to go in here. Oh, look, Shotgun Messiah. Oh, yes, 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 yes. This is definitely what we want. All right, how are we doing for time? Mm -hmm. I'm going to turn off my light just because it can be a little bit difficult to do this stealthily with a light on your head. Let's see. Oh, beer. Nice. And then there's a cooler here as well. I might have to rationalise what I pick up at some point, but is this a, work is this a Shotgun Messiah? box yes sniper rifle parts are of course the most useful thing to us but they are not one of the most pistol parts yes they are not the most uh, 
Frequent spawners. Okay, I think that's the sound of a Z. Oh crap. Holy moly. Holy moly. Okay, I'm not too keen on the sight of that thing. Look at the state of that. It's a spider. Oh crap, he's going to really run, isn't he? Oh yes. Oh yes, he is. He's between me and some more loot in this joint. That's the thing. Should I just machete him? Through the wall. Well, if he's stupid enough to allow me to... Oh! Keep out of his way. Let's just see if we can... He's a bit thick, isn't he? Is he dead? Yeah, he is. Wowza. Six nails. Well, that's a bit rubbish, isn't it? Okay, well, somebody else has been woken up now, haven't they? Unfortunately, but that was kind of exciting. Let's just... Oh, look, we're freezing now. For goodness sakes, woman, you can't make your mind up, can you? Okay, so we obviously have to break through here to see what's in there. And I, there is a pop and pills in this range of shops as well. Okay, I think probably after our... Activities with Mr. Irradiated Spider that oh how disappointing is that? There's, well we could come back. We could always come back and by that point we'll have done the breaking and entering part. I think probably this zombie that's going nuts up here is probably Oh a paintbrush. Okay. It's probably the uh the Oh there is one there. There's a football player. Well those guys I'm not gonna be able to hit him, am I, because of this barrier. Mm -hmm. He's down, but he ain't going to stay down, is he? But I won't take away this barrier because, of course, he will want to hit me in the face now, and they always run. So. And now he's just going to run into the wall like a total spanner, isn't he? Oh, oh there he is. There he goes, finally. All right. So we'll go back into sneak mode in case there's anybody else around here. And there probably is, let's face it. Okay, right. Sink. Alright, anything good around here? Really, really, really what I want. Oh, there's a bookcase. Uh, we already know that one, don't we? Cardboard box. Paintbrush. Okay, we've got two paintbrushes there. And nerd glasses. No thanks. Oops. Feeling there's a zombie. Just to force a habit. There we go. Up here. And of course we can't really sneak up here, can we? No, there isn't. Oh, there is! There is, there is. Okay, well, he's nothing special. We'll just... Take his head off. There we go. There's obviously a zombie on the, the uh, neighbouring roof or something. But uh, I'm not going to concern myself with him too much at the moment. Right, so. We'll see. Oh my gosh! Where did they come from? Oh my gosh. There's a couple of football players running around now. And I'm not sure where they came from. Okay, maybe I should just ignore those for the minute. The bike's there. Okay, so. Pop and pills is a few down uh, the row. And uh, so I will just go into sneak mode again. I'm not sure where those footballers came from, really. I don't like the fact that they're still out there, but hey. Okay. Anyone in here? This is a pop and pills. This is good stuff. This is good stuff. It's 1825, so I'm not going to want to be... Oh. Let's see. Can I just machete him today? Yes, but it wasn't exactly a stealth dagger attack, was it? I'm not sure that that's going to be particularly effective. I think we might be better off shooting them. Ooh, there we go. We're probably not going to be able to carry all this stuff, are we? Lovely, lovely loot. I'm full up now. I can't pick up anything else unless it stacks. Ooh, 
but it does. Oh, cupboards here as well. Oh, mechanical parts or electrical parts. Uh oh. We are still undetected, however, so we should be all right. Okay, let's see if there's anything through here. Oh, look, there's a chemistry bench there. I want to put my light on, but it's always a little bit risky. It's a destroyed one. Uh-oh, there's somebody here. Blast it, man. I missed her. She hit me. That's not fair. Oh, lovely. Food. Right. So, do I have anything that I can get rid of? Yeah, I'll just scrap those. There we go. Cause we can... Ah! Edgar! Where did you come from? He's got me cornered, unfortunately. There we go. And another load of them's turned up now as well. From somewhere, I don't know. Upstairs, probably. Yes. But, I want to get this crate. So, and then, we're going to run like a coward. Frankly, no, there's nothing in there. Okay, fine. But actually, I think they're next door, possibly. Um, but, uh, given the time, 1937. Yes, I think it is. I think it's the neighbours, isn't it? That is next door, rather than through here. But, uh, there may be sleepers in here as well. Oh, they're going to be woken up by the neighbours, I would have thought. Hey, there's nothing in here. Okay, well, we just want to check out. Yeah, we've re read that one. Been there, done that. Oh, a wrench. Hmm. Wrenches are always good. We've got a load of jars, and we uh, keep getting more, so let's not worry about that. Oh, splints. They're always good as well, actually. Is there anything we can drop? Not... Ever so readily, actually, yes. That white football jersey. They are not particularly useful. Goggles. No. Okay. And some more vitamins. Lovely. Here we go. Let's leave this place. <laughs> With the zombies all having a bit of a fit. Okay, so. Whee! we're out of here all right so we are headed roughly in the direction of our base again it's uh, gonna take us a little while to get there but with the bag being this quick we might even get there before dark you never know which will be good because by the time we get there there may well be a screamer and a res resident attendant horde waiting for us who knows um and we haven't built our garage yet but i think we will be getting on with doing that as soon as we've passed the Day 49 Horde, I think it will have to be construct a, a secure sort of uh, off-the-ground garage. Uh, I'm just going completely off-piste here, but uh, this could be quite a good thing to do, just as long as we don't get ourselves stuck on a tree at the point at which we've got an enormous horde behind us. Or drive into water. Driving into a lake is never a good idea. Um, driving through burned forest not a great plan because I will probably find some nodes of potassium nitrate and decide that it's a brilliant plan to just stop and harvest them. There's some, for example. Um, do you know what? I'm not liking the look of that. I don't want my bike glitching out, thank you very much. Okay, so I put potassium nitrate in here and I will just do that. And then I can take this potassium nitrate because it would be rude not to, wouldn't it? It's a bit of a stupid idea, that said, doing this at this time of night. And we would have got home in time, had it not been for this, I think. Oh gosh, there's a vulture. Flipping egg. Well, they're horrible, aren't they? We don't want to be dealing with that, but I am going to finish taking this node. Yes, and now we're off. Yay! Right, I'm not going to stop again now. I am going to carry on until we get home, even though I know there's potassium nitrate to be had there. At least I know it's there. I know it's there. I know where it is. We're just going to go all the way straight home now, guys. So uh, I'll see you when we get there, hopefully, in one piece. Well, we very nearly got here in one piece, didn't we? Well, we are in one piece. We very nearly got here uh, before nightfall hit but not quite so uh i've actually got a load of stuff in the bike as well doesn't seem like we have a screamer around here uh, which is good so i'm just going to drop off a load of stuff here there we go and just to make sure that we can 
go and grab our stuff from the bike. I'm going to turn my light off so they're a bit more stealthy. Although it means you guys can't see anything. There we go. Um, but I don't think there's anything around here to spot us. Not just at the moment, anyway. Let's hope not, because otherwise I'm going to die in quite a stupid way. I'm probably still not going to be able to carry all this, am I? Oh, no, wait. We don't actually necessarily want all that gas with us. There we go. Lovely. Now all we have to do is get back underground again. Excellent. So, that was a good day's looting, and we found, actually, that that is a pretty good biome. A uh, biome? A pretty good town uh, to go looting in, actually. It's got some good stuff, including some a lot of stuff we didn't actually get a chance to see or, um, or explore. So, uh, it's definitely going to be worthwhile going back there. In the meantime, we have even more cement here. Yay! Let's have some more coming through there as well. And we've got a load of concrete there as well. And some still coming through, which is fantastic. And we've got loads of, I've got medical kits, and we've got antibiotics, and we've got, uh, we've got some gas barrels and uh, hides and all sorts of fantastic stuff here. But we've also got, and this is something else I want to do straight away, I want to make some more gunpowder. So where's my coal? Uh, did I get my potassium nitrate? Where did I put my potassium nitrate? Is it in the drop box? It may well be. Let's go see was what I was carrying to start with. So, so I want to get some... Uh, I want to get... Yes, there we go. We may as well take as much of this as we can. There we go. Uh, and I want to get some gunpowder crafting as soon as. So, let's go in here. Oh, no, no, no. That's silly. This is where we want to do gunpowder, because we have a one-to-one -one ratio rather than... There we go, that's better. Although it will, of course, attract yet more screamers. Oh, joy. There we go. So, guys, I have got loads of uh, loads of stuff to put away here, which is uh, fab. Uh, AK-47 barrel. Have I got an 80k AK-47 barrel already? I do not. SMG, that's a full gun, actually. Fantastic. There we go. And I can probably upgrade some of that, too. I've got some steel arrows. I've got some more of those which I can put up. Uh, upstairs with the others and then I do have a sniper rifle receiver which will help to upgrade and repair ours a little bit not much but a little bit and if every little helps doesn't it so uh, there we go and I've got some nails and all that business as well and then yeah I've got uh, I think I put my shale oil in there yes I have oh and glue I forgot my glue there we are and then we've got gas barrels and uh, I think I've put those down here for the time being but once we've made our platform for our bike we will make storage for bike parts and fuel and such and repair kits there as well so uh, oh and blood draw kits that's something new for our uh, our our storage inventory there there we go. Oh, look at these. You see, I should sell those. They've got look at the sell price on those. Suckers. We're going to have to sell those to our trader, aren't we? Definitely get ourselves a load of dupes for that. Fantastic. And we should, because I'm pretty sure we've got treasure maps here. We should we should look out those treasure maps as well, because that is definitely going to be worth our while also. Okay, guys. I'll just catch my breath now. So, we've had quite a good day there. We have discovered some good stuff. We've got another town there. I have no doubt whatsoever we've got other towns elsewhere as well. I'm pretty sure I've seen one to our south, so I already know there's one down there. Um, I haven't seen one up here, but... Well, there kind of is one there. We know there's one way, way, way up there. Um, but there might also be some kind of over there as well. Um, so I don't know. We'll have to check out this one in the desert as well, just to see if there's anything good there. There's a little one there, but this one might be larger. It looks like it. There's a bit of it there, a bit of it there. That might have some shops and stuff in it as well. And uh, as long as we can get about, and there's passing gases in a plenty, we can... We've got plenty of fuel. We're going to do fine, I think, for, for travelling around and being able to find all the things that we need for looting purposes. But uh, I'm going to find my sniper rifle now and uh, upgrade that, I think. There we go. We've got a full stack of this as well. So I can... what I'm probably going to do, I'm probably going to do a bit of off-camera stuff. So the next episode will be the Day 49 Horde. So I'll spend a day off-camera now doing some grind and... Uh, 
I hope you guys will join me for the seventh seven day horde. And then from there on in, we will be really focusing on building this structure above our heads and getting our base finished because I want to make sure it's finished before Alpha 17 hits. I have no idea when that will happen, but I want to have a completed base by then. That is my chief goal. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, you know what to do. Hit that like button and let me know. Also, feel free to leave your hints, tips, comments, suggestions as ever. Greatly appreciated and I will try to reply. Uh, and I hope you'll join me for the next episode. Until then, keep gaming, keep surviving, and stay happy. Bye-bye for now.